All right, this is the book of Amos, chapter 8. I'm going to start at verse 11, and it says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, Yahweh, I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of water, but, hearing, but of hearing the words of the Lord. All right, verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. I want to give all honor, all glory, and all praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. Shalom to you brothers out there, man, that are laboring and during the elements, making your body a living sacrifice, trying to sell the elect, making your carnal election assured, seeking out your own salvation, as well as you sisters that are learning, listening, applying, being obedient to your husbands. Shalom, shalom. Again, it's the brother Zachariah coming back to you with another one. All right, and Lord willing to be edifying. And uh, man, it's a gorgeous day here today, man. I'm, at, I'm actually outdoors in front of my, my apartment complex and um, you know, uh, man, I, I'm out in just a t-shirt. It's man, it feels good. It's 73 degrees. It's uh, nice. All right, and uh, you know, call the law, Yahweh by Shibi Shah, man. You know, for for uh, blessing us with this beautiful day. Okay, and I feel good. You know, uh, especially getting out of that plantation. You know, talking about the nine to five. All right, y'all, <laughs> it's crazy. But, uh, you know, I was looking forward to getting off and just like working on a lesson. And, uh, you know, I stumbled across uh, this article. That's why I started off with the book of Amos. OK, uh, it says House passes bill that would lead to a TikTok ban if Chinese owner does not uh, doesn't sell. OK, so that's that's going to be tension between these nations. All right. All right. And, you know, the, the Heavenly Father is a man of war, okay? And he's putting uh, tension in between these nations, okay? A division, okay? So I'm going to read a little bit of this. And it says, the House on Wednesday passed a bill that would lead to a nationwide ban of the popular video app TikTok if its China-based owner doesn't sell as lawmakers acted on concerns that the company's current ownership structure is a national security threat. See that? The bill passed by a vote of 352 to 65 now goes to the Senate where its prospects are unclear. Six men, members of the U.S. House a delegation from the Minnesota voted with a large majority on a bill that could lead to a domestic TikTok ban. Okay, two opposed it. Democratic representatives uh, Ilhan Omar and Dean uh, Phillips all right, Democrats uh, Angie Craig and Beth uh, McCollum. All right, joined uh, Republican uh, Republicans Tom Emmer, uh, Brad Finstad, and Michelle Fishback and Pete Stauber uh, to back the bill. All right, so you know uh, it's looking like a possibility that uh, we were going to have this TikTok ban. Okay, which a lot of truth is being pushed on there. You know, the heavenly father said he'll pour his he pour his spirit out upon all flesh, which he has done that. Okay, men, are, uh, you got young men dreaming dreams, old men uh, seeing visions and stuff. Uh, the people are out prophesying. Okay, especially the men, the men uh, of the Lord. Okay, men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah going out there. Uh, on the highways and hedges doing these lessons but you know you got some of these heathen you know they're exposing their own people which you know you got uh which uh, the bible says you know uh, he'll set the egyptian against the egyptian okay which that's pretty much uh m a modern day it's the edomites okay because they have us israelites in captivity you so-called negroes hispanics and native americans okay going back to our forefather jacob all right which his name was changed to israel which means in the paleo hebrew yasharala okay prince of the power all right but um you know he said that egyptian against egyptian all right and uh so they're divided so you got edomites they're all on uh tiktok exposing uh the corruption of this country and the leaders all right our people other nations are are, are as well okay you know it's a tension okay so you have that all right so this devil is wanting to put a, sh a stop to that. You know, truth is being spread on all these platforms because TikTok is not the only one, but it's, but because it's owned by, uh, it ain't owned by uh, an Edomite. It's owned by, uh, you know, the Ch so-called Chinese, okay, which are known as the Moabites, okay? But you can't stop this truth, okay? See, he really, it's not even about the fact that the Moabites is over it, but it's a lot of stuff is being exposed, okay? So this is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 8. It says, for we can do nothing against the truth before the truth. Okay? Because, you know, the scriptures also says that uh, the word, uh, you know, Yahweh's word is not going to come back to him void. Okay? Whatever he said that's, that's going to take place and happen, it's going to happen.
okay? It ain't gonna come back to him void, all right? So there's nothing he can really do to this, to this, uh, to affect this truth, you know? And ultimately, if it does get shut down, it's because it's the Heavenly Father's doing, which we're gonna get into that, okay? This is Matthew, uh, chapter 24 and verse 14 says and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations you see that and then shall the end come so that's what it's all about you know us spreading this truth this gospel okay because we're trying to fish for the elect and like i always say in every lesson we don't know who the elect are okay you know it's not that easy you know but we just go out and we do the work okay you know we're instruments okay we're vessels we used uh by the heavenly father okay and he does the rest okay we got to go out there and we labor okay and he's going to do the rest you know he put that spirit on you to to deliver that message and it's going to hit those that it needs to hit you know because since the beginning of creation he already has a set who's the his elect are okay and by uh way of us doing what we're doing we're making our call election sure, okay that we may be worthy of salvation you get out of this uh hell hole known as babylon the great all right so i'm gonna read this again and this and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come okay man that's what we're hastening for you know there's uh prophecies and things that need to be fulfilled okay the uh him coming down with that great wrath pushing that motb upon all the world okay the uh famine you know famine of the word you know that's prophecy okay which this right here can can very well be uh play a big part in it as well all right so i got another article here uh i stumbled across this earlier while at work okay this says china warns a TikTok ban will come back to bite the u.s you see that so that's gonna be that division all right uh and also leading to war okay it says beijing warned on wednesday that a proposed ban on chinese owned uh video sharing app TikTok will uh and inevitably if i'm saying that word right i'm getting my tongue tied all right come back to bite the u.s all right the u.s house of representatives is set to vote later wednesday on a bill that would force the app to cut ties until its chinese owner uh or get banned in the united states okay and it says the legislation okay is the biggest threat yet to the uh, video sharing app which has surged to huge popularity across the world all right while uh, raising fears amongst uh, among governments and security officials over its Chinese ownership and potential uh, surveillance all right uh, to the Communist Party in Beijing all right so it's gonna be a it's a division man okay this is it could come back to bite them all right you also got to understand about what you saw uh, you know ruling you know, he is the one that is ruling, you know, uh, going to 2nd Ezra 6 9, it tells you that uh, Esau is the end of the world, okay? So he he's pretty much ruling. We know that we're at the end, uh, we're in the end times, so this this man is ruling, you know, which we know him to be the so-called white man, okay? He calls himself the white man, but he's really red, okay? Edom, because uh, Esau's name was changed to Edom, which Edom means red, okay? So if you say Edomites, it's basically calling them red people. And they've always told on themselves by they say things like uh, rednecks and stuff because see their blood shows forth through their skin. You know, technically they're, they're uh, they have leprosy, okay? But they're clean leopards. You know, like somebody uh, that has like vitiligo, what they call vitiligo, it's really leprosy. You know, that's leprosy as well, you know? But they're clean leopards because they don't have any melanin whatsoever on their body. It's just they're a clean leopard. But they, are, but they, but their whole skin is leprosy and the blood shows through this forth through the skin okay which that's a, that could be another lesson there just going into that you know but this is obadiah one and two it says behold i have made thee small among the heathen okay this is esau edom right here obadiah is talking about esau you know from the beginning to the end all right and it says behold i have made thee small among the heathen thou art greatly despised and this man is getting despised despised you know he's always been despised but people are showing it and, and they can be very vocal about it now because a lot of these uh countries of uh they're arming themselves up some of them are just are just as powerful and armed as the united states it's no more as that the big bad wolf as they always been okay you know so 
you know, that that's pretty much, hey, it's going to lead into war, all right? This is Matthew 24 and verse 7, okay? It says, for nation shall rise against nation. You see that? And kingdom against kingdom, okay? Chinese against uh, America, you know? Hey, and there shall be famines. See that? Which also is going to lead to famine of the word, okay? And also a famine of food, too, all right? And pestilences, okay? And earthquakes, which we've been going into a lot of earthquakes, all right? In diverse places, okay? And if I, you know, re you read on to verse 8, it just says all these are the beginning of sorrows, okay? Because we we're going to come into some, some really dark and heavy times, all right? Which part of them dark times is uh, something we, we call, uh, or the Bible calls uh, Jacob's trouble, all right? This is Jeremiah 30 and verse 7. It says, at last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it, okay? And that's going to be those, the, uh, the remnant, the elect, okay? The one third, all right, that are coming back to the Heavenly Father in these last days. Waking up knowing that they are Israelites, you know, trying to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of their ability. They're repenting from their iniquities and sins, okay? So the Heavenly Father can look upon us, you know, and be like, that's my people, you know, and uh, pardon us of our sins. Because none of us are perfect. We're all nothing but filthy rags, okay? But at the end of the day, despite that, he still has an elect, okay? That he's gonna uh, he's gonna pull out of this place, man, before it gets uh, obliterated. All right. So, Lord willing, you know, we be of that precious number. This is why we uh, labor, you know, and we be, you know, in truth and sincerity. Okay, we love our people, and I love my people. You know, I love my brothers and sisters. I love uh, everyone, man, that follows me uh, on social media. You know, all the different platforms. You know, uh, you letting that brotherly love continue. Uh, even if we don't know each other like that, you know, uh, even those that, you know, we may not um, have seen eye to eye or, uh, you know, uh, had maybe some a run in in the past or whatever, you know, hey, I forgive and, and, and all that. You know, I don't I hold no grudge and nothing like that. It is what it is. You know, at the end of the day, you know, we're all making our call election assured. I just pray we get out of here, you know. Uh, I ain't happy until we out of here, you know, for real. You know, I want to see our people out of this uh, hellhole and this captivity, you know. I'm not making Babylon my refuge, man. This is not the end all be all, you know, which it also leads me to another story because uh, speaking, you know, while we're talking about, uh, you know, TikTok ban and all that. Uh, at work today, man, you know, we got this new co-worker and he's from Cuba, which, you know, we know them to be, they're our people, you know, and it's funny because like when we be talking through the spirit, you know, he be calling me primo, which primo means cousin, you know, and he's calling me cousin, you know, and, uh, you know, he knows I know a little Spanish or whatever. I was quiet at first because, you know, you don't just throw all your cards on the table. You don't let people know, you know, who you are. You got to be circumspect of your surroundings, you know. Especially when you come into this truth, you know, you don't just come out and be gullible and like, hey, I'm, my name is such and such and I live here and this is my address. You know, you don't put all that out there. You know, there's agents and everything. Esau got people watching us. Uh, you got uh, you got people uh, that don't don't like you and, and they might use information against you. All kinds of weird stuff, you know, so you got to be mindful of that. But, uh, you know, you know, I know a little Spanish, so, you know, you know, we get to talking and stuff like that. But he was calling me primo. But uh, one of the things I noticed about him, like today, uh, his phone went out and oh boy, he went crazy. You know, when that little thing happened with uh, with Facebook and Instagram, when it was acting up, I wasn't going crazy. I mean, I had music on my phone and I was fine. I was just working and doing, you know, doing my job or whatever. And just thinking about, you know, the prophecies and stuff. I wasn't tripping. You know, I still had access to the internet. So I was looking at, you know, current events, things like that. You know, getting, uh, you know, um, you know, articles and things together for my next uh, various topics and, and current events. You know, that's it, man. I wasn't tripping about Facebook and Instagram. You know, if it wasn't for this truth, I actually wouldn't even been on those, those platforms. The whole reason for me being on those platforms is to push the truth. For real. You know, other than that, I wouldn't even be on them. I ain't going to be that Israelite that's on there just looking and lurking. Like, I ain't posting. I'm just looking or I'm just on here. Uh, or with ill intentions and none of that. I, I I wouldn't have it just to be having it, you know. My family don't speak to me like that, you know, ever since I came into this truth. So, you know, the whole reason I have it is really to push this truth. If it wasn't for that, like I said, I wouldn't even be on it, you know. I was actually about to do away with all the platforms. You know, I was going to get off of all of them. 
but uh, Yahweh Bashim Yashah woke me up and I, and I started to realize, you know, it hit me like through the spirit, like, hey, you guys are pushing this truth on, on these platforms. And that's what I've been doing ever since. I ain't looked back, you know, and I'm just going to do it until the famine, the famine of the word hit. You know, that's when you know, hey, it's enough's enough, you know. But uh, anyways, like I was saying, his phone went out. And dude was going crazy. I'm talking about like he was trying to borrow my phone and just going crazy. And I had a spare phone. I use it to record my lessons, but I got a new phone. So through the spirit, I reset it and I gave it to him and told him, look, look, man, it's a Boost Mobile phone. You can take it to Boost Mobile, try to get it, uh, you know, set up. I said, I, I wasn't really using it. I said, I'd use it to record uh, Bible lessons. I said, but you can have it because I got an, another backup one now. My old phone, I'm using that one now to record. So I gave it to him and uh, and maybe he can get it going because he want, he got family back in Cuba, you know, his kids and stuff. And he just want to talk to him, you know, and he was going crazy. But I'm thinking like, man, if he, he ain't got a clue, like when that famine of the word hit, and, and Esau may shut down all these devices and stuff. That dude, he gonna really go crazy. You know, there was a, another girl, that's an Eve on the job and her phone went out. Uh, man, and they said she started crying. And she in her uh, her early 20s, she was crying like a child, man, because her phone wasn't working. And I'm like, man, these people, they've they been, uh, they they so dependent that it's uh, uh, a co-worker, another co-worker, I was talking to her about it. And she said, man, uh, these phones became like a crutch to these people. They can't stay off of them, you know? The only reason why I'm on it, like I said, is to push the truth, man, you know? That's just about it, you know, looking up the, the prophecies and stuff. Other than that, I wouldn't even be on it like that, you know? But you, you we understand the mission, you know? We understand the mission, you know? When we wake up to this truth, you know, we understand, hey, this is this is real purpose. This is true purpose. All right. This is what we're called to do. All right. So that's the only reason why, like I said, I'm I'm on it, you know. But man, these people, boy, they going they go crazy without them phones. And he just ain't got a clue. Hey, the Heavenly Father, man, he's gonna uh withdraw his spirit from this place, man. And uh, you know, so they're focused on the wrong things. He's talking about moving his family here and everything. And I'm thinking, you know, he was telling me how bad it is in, in Cuba. And I was like, man, you, you, <laughs> wait till you see how bad it's going to get here. You know, but I guess it's so bad there that this place make it seem better. But, hey, you know, it's, this is a hellhole. This is a hellhole. And, 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 you know, he may not see it now because, you know, how bad it is back back home in Cuba for him. But it's gonna get bad, man. It's gonna get bad. So you you get your family here, you know, uh, you better hearken, you know. So Lord willing, you know, as he's if he stays there and worked long enough, you know, I could you know, get to talking to him and hey, share that word, let him know, hey man, you an Israelite, you gotta come back to the Heavenly Father these last days. You know, this place, this place is through. You know. I ain't telling you not to bring your family here, you know, uh, because even uh Cuba is through, you know, you know, it's it's through because it's part of the Americas. It's through us as well, you know, but uh, if you bring them, hey, you need to be telling them the truth. Tell them who they are and get to come back to the Heavenly Father. All right. In these last days, because, yeah, like I said, you know, Jacob's trouble. A lot's going to happen. But they so dependent on these devices and these phones and, and they go crazy when them things go out. You know, like I said, it's, it's going to be a rough time, man. And, and he was, man, he just ain't got a clue. You know, like I said, you're supposed to be seeking the Heavenly Father in these last days. All that other stuff don't even gonna mean nothing. You know, all right. So with that, man, I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring out this last precept. This is a uh, book of Isaiah, chapter 55, and I'm going to start at verse 6. And it says, Seek ye the, the Lord, Yahweh, while he may be found. Okay. And that's that time is now. You better be seeking him. Okay. Call ye upon him while he is near. All right. See that? In verse 7, let the wicked, all right, the wicked of our people, okay, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord Yahweh, okay, for he will have mercy upon him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon, okay. See, that's what it's all about, man. That's what it's all about at the end of the day, man. You want to uh, be a pardon, okay, of your iniquity so you can get out of this place because if not, man, then you, you're gonna go, you're gonna have to know death by pain. You're gonna go down with the two thirds of our people. Okay? You know, worrying, you worry about the wrong things. You're going crazy about them phones. Like I said, I was chilling. It kinda, at first I was thinking, I'm like, is this 
Family of the Word, is that you? You know, I was looking like that, you know. I'm like, Family of the Word, is that you? You know, because, hey, the men, men of Yahweh Shem Yahweh man, we, we're, we're tired, man. We're tired, man. This place is it's wearing us out. You know, I said, man, I'm a 40-year-old man. I might not sound like it. Some people say I don't even look like it, but, hey, I'm a 40-year-old man. I'm wore out, man. I'm tired. This, this, this devil wearing us out, man. And, and, and two-thirds of our people are driving us nuts, you know. So we hasten for this place to, to go down, man. We look for a new a heaven, a new earth, you know, fresh air, you know, clean, pure water, you know, crisp water, man. You know, real food, real fruit, vegetables, real authentic good food, man. Not the so poison, man, that Esau is putting in these uh, so-called grocery stores, you know. You know, like again, the fresh air, you know. Like I said, I'm looking up in the sky. It's not a single chemtrail today, you know. I said, that devil must be occupied with something else. That's good. I hope he, he stayed busy. Probably that stuff with China, <laughs> you know. Moab, Moab, man, I'm telling you, man, he, he getting pissed. A lot of these nations, they're getting fed up with this. But ultimately, this devil is, uh, is, is provoking them anyways. You know, this devil order out of chaos, okay. Because ultimately, I'm telling you through the spirit, I'm speaking as a man, but but I feel, hey, what this devil is doing, he thinking that he's going to provoke them to where they start blasting on this place. And, and these devils are going to go hide in their bunkers. And then they're thinking like, oh, yeah, and he'll wipe out. They'll wipe out all the Israelites. And then, you know, we can maintain our rulership. We'll come back from out of the ashes, rise up like the Phoenix. You know, that's that, their little slogan. And uh, they're going to rise up and continue on. Nah, it don't work like that. The Bible, like I said, his word do not come back to him void. That's the neglect, and they are going to be delivered, as the Heavenly Father has said it. So you can't stop that, Esau. We know you watching our videos. You can't stop shit, man. You can't stop it. You know, that elect, man, are going to be delivered. And you know they're going to round your ass up, man, at Jeremiah 16 and 16. So you can go in your bunkers, get comfortable and all that, get cozy. But hey, you gonna get ripped right out of them. You ever watch like uh, them videos, like them uh, lion, a pack of lions, man, and they be uh, yanking out a, a warthog <laughs> out of one of them uh, um, hoes, them uh, what they call them burrows. You ever watch uh, like that? You know, a lot of times I'll see them little videos pop up on YouTube, man, and be a pack of lions, and the uh, warthog be be screaming, man. <laughs> be screaming you know that's that's gonna be esau man through the spirit a lot of those videos pop up and i'm like man you know that's your how about you showing you man that's that's how esau gonna be when he get ripped out of them uh, underground bunkers through man but yeah you know we're in some we are in some beautiful times though man our people are waking up and uh Man, I'm just grateful, man, that, that he had mercy on me to even wake me up to know that I'm an Israelite. You know, there's been brothers, man, that have been very kind to me in this truth, man, and, uh, you know, have educated me on things. And uh, and the Heavenly Father, you know, dealing with me and, and pouring his spirit out upon me, you know, in these last days, man, and just standing in great boldness, okay? All right? You know, for this truth. And I always said, man, hey, I'll fight tooth and nail for this truth, man. This is all I got. You know, you take this away, I have nothing. And I, ain't, I can't go back to the world. I don't even want to, you know. There ain't want nothing in there for me, you know. This truth is it, man. You know, I, I look for that, that kingdom, okay. So I hope this lesson here was uh, edifying. I hope it is encouraging uh, to keep keep going, okay. And, you know, hey, the Heavenly Father showing us signs, man. Prophecies being fulfilled, okay. So just stay strong, you know, keep enduring, keep doing the work, okay. And if you're new in this thing, man, come back to the Heavenly Father, man, and, and through his son, okay, in these uh, last days, man, you know, because the Heavenly Father, like I said, he's going to send his son, man, and they're going to do away with this place and deliver us, all right? So again, Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to give all honor, all glory, and all praise unto Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel, and Shalom to you brothers and sisters out there until the next one. Shalom.